Hi, my name is Mohammed, and this is my final sociology project. Welcome to the story of Mike. Mike had grown up poor, hopping from one apartment to the next with his mother and his two sisters. This is Mike. This is his mother, his younger sister, and his other younger sister. Mike's father had passed away when he was young to heart disease, which is why Mike always wanted to become a doctor when he grew up so that he could treat men and women so that they wouldn't have to leave their families behind. Mike had always gotten good grades throughout high school and was on his way to a full ride to Emory University. Walking around Atlanta late at night is never a good idea, regardless of who you are and how many people you're with. But Mike had lived there his entire life and felt it would be safe if he just went for a walk to clear his head. Mike had walked to the store and got his favorite combo, a mango Arizona and a bag of ruffles. He had walked outside and had unknowingly dropped his receipt in the store. On his way out, his mother had called him, telling him to rush home. He takes off, knowing if he gets in trouble with his mother, she's gonna have a fit. Before he could even leave the store parking lot, he heard the siren of a police car parked outside the store. The officer hopped out of his car and asked Mike why he was running out of the store. This is the officer in question. Mike tried to explain that his mother had called and he needed to get home quickly. The police officer asked if he could see the receipt for the food Mike had just bought, thinking that Mike was stealing from the store and was trying to make a break for it. Mike's heart began to, fe to beat faster, knowing that police were always looking for trouble. His mother had warned him about messing with the police, reminding him to always keep his receipt just in case someone thought he was stealing. Frantically looking for the receipt, Mike dropped all of his food on the ground. Without even asking the clerk at the store if Mike had bought the food, he made the inaccurate assumption that he had shoplifted and put Mike under arrest. After spending a couple of hours in jail, Mike was released, but it begs to wonder if things would have been different if Mike was not African American. Maybe if he walked around in new clothes or new shoes, the officer would have looked the other way. The officer picking on Mike specifically because of his race or his social status is an excellent example of conflict perspective, which is described as the inequalities that exist in all societies all around the globe. Why did the officer feel the need to target Mike on that very night? Is it because he didn't look like he had the money to buy the food he bought? If Mike had looked like the white police officer and not like himself, would the officer have let him go? The inequalities that people face on an everyday basis based solely off of race or ethnicity is unfair and should be discussed by everyone while we find a way to fix these sort of issues.